Monaghan obviously this year has not done much, and Dubé has. Man, going to get into that a little bit later. Uh, but overall, I, I think I, I agree. Kevin. You got to bring up, bring up a Pelche, put him on that third line, see how see how well he does. Um, I, I said this about uh, last year. Um, sorry here, um, but uh, I brought sorry last. Um, sorry, I brought, I, I brought this up two podcasts ago, maybe even the last one. That uh, Pelche is not a uh, a goal scorer. He's very much a, uh, a a nitty gritty guy who has skill, who can get the puck, um, kind of like a Zach Hyman. I'm not saying he is Zach Hyman, like a Zach Hyman, and pass it to the more skilled players like a Dubé and like a Monahan. And especially where does Monahan play the best, and how does he score his goals? Is in close in the slot. So having that is a, a very beneficial. A piece on a line like the Monahan Dubé line that has been struggling. So yes, bring up Pelche, put him on that line, and or even bring down uh, Coleman off that uh, off that second unit. Put him on the third unit and put Pelche on that uh, on that second unit with Backlin and Majipani. Fuck Kev. Now I, I really want to see him. I want to see Jacob Pelche here, j- just because, and I want to see what he can do on this lineup. Yeah. Can, can we start? Too. Can we start a hashtag here? Hashtag free Pelche. <laughs> well, that's, free Pelche. that's the hashtag. It's hashtag free Pelche. Well, I, I don't no, know no, if no, it's no, free no, no. You got to go. You you you, you got to go alliteration. It's hashtag play Pelche. Play, play Pelche. Pelche. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Free Pelche means that in my mind, get him out of Calgary or Calgary's organization. That's not what we want. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 